was he any trouble? We're nothing to it. Don't know what y'all are so scared about with this one. Found his dumb ass down at Jake's Tavern. Looking like he cried himself to sleep. Some war hero. Real pansy. <laughs> Son of a! I'll gut you for this! Get a hold of yourself, Francis! Making a spectacle in front of our fine citizens. Go get yourself cleaned up. I need you back here in three hours. Sober! You best change that out before it runs dry. I know how scared of the dark you get. Ain't no more scared of the dark than most people. Present company included. Still don't see why we can't mess that bastard up a little bit. You know the orders. You also know it ain't smart to go against Mason's wishes. Yeah, well, easy for you to say. My jaw hurts like I took a hoof from a heifer. I thought it was an oval from a pansy. Well, it's about time you joined the land of living, Tom. Begin to think you drunk yourself into oblivion. Well, I wouldn't want to make this dirty work any easier on you. Now, would I? Dirty work, you say, huh? I reckon my position in all this is all quite clean. I'm the law, after all. Well, being the law in lawless times hardly makes it clean now, does it? Damn it, boy! Get a move on with that thing! I know how you can live with yourself, Tom. On account of the mess you made back at your homestead. Such a temper. Don't look so pained, son. Hangman's noose will take all your troubles away. and told you gentlemen to stay off our land. Maybe we ain't come to talk with Tom, Liz. Maybe we come to talk with you. It's pretty darn important you make him understand the position he's in. Mr. Mason here has been more than patient with you all. I got nothing to say to you, Sheriff. Get off our land. Now, Liz, don't our long-standing relationship grant me some kind of leeway here? If you were half the man Tom is, you'd see how all this is so wicked. I've heard enough. I told you I wanted this settled weeks ago. Now do the job I'm paying you for. Burn it down. Sadie! Why'd you do it, Bill? You knew my Beth. You knew my girls, too. You watch while they died, or did you leave the whole messy job to those two idiot deputies? You were about changing the oil in that lantern, boy! If I need your help, I'll ask. See, now that's your problem there, Tom. You never know when to back down. You never know when to throw in the towel. You wouldn't be in this mess if you'd just given Mason what he wanted. Was losing everything worth a deed to that scrap of land you call home? Mason offered you a fair price. Hell, he even offered to hire you on for the mining. I'm no miner, Bill. Both you and Mason knew it. Never gonna be a job in it for me. Mason would've backstabbed me. Just like he's gonna backstab you. You can't talk your way out of this, Tom. Well, he'll do it, Bill. He'll pay that loyal deputy of yours. And the way you make him lick your boots, he ought to come real cheap. Tom, you are stretching my patience. Frank here is not just my deputy, he's my friend. Probably right, Bill. He looks perfectly content slaving around here for you. Isn't that right, Deputy Francis? Enough, Tom! By God, I wish I could take you out of that cell and settle this man to man. Damn that, Mason. And damn you, Tom Nelson. I wish you were there when we killed your precious little girls. I wish you could have watched while we took the life from your beautiful wife. It's just
to shame you. Cause she was real pretty, that Beth. Right to her last breath. Damn it, boy! Get a move on with that thing! The wick was sticking! Francis? Damn it! He must have got my keys in the scuffle! Don't try and be a hero, boy! There's two of us and one of you. You don't stand a chance. Now stand back against the wall and throw the keys you lifted off my dim-witted deputy. Be careful what you wish for.